Hello, Mary Richards. Hi, Lizzie Lasseter. Welcome back to today's anatomy question. We're getting really excited about our new course on deep rest. And one of the kind of target audiences or people we think this course would be useful for are people who feel they're nearing burnout. This word phrase burnout, I've been hearing a lot in the past five years. So first, Mary, what is burnout really? Okay. So intuitively, we all have a sense of what burnout is. And many of us have certainly felt it. Yeah. And what burnout, how it's categorized. Um, it was first categorized in 1975 mm -hmm. by a fellow named Herbert Freudenberger. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is a term that's been in clinical usage you know, for what, 40 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and it basically means burnout is describing a state of exhaustion and overwhelm, mm -hmm. physical, mental, and emotional exhaustion. Ooh, something just happened with your mic. I can hear Penelope purring, <laughs> the cat. <laughs> She's right here. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. She's like, she's like, isn't everyone here to see me? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So it's describing a state of exhaustion, but what is, I mean, why do we even need this word burnout? Why can't we just say I'm exhausted? Like what is, it's beyond exhaustion? Yes, it's beyond exhaustion because it's so multifaceted. Mm. You know, typically, uh, when we think of exhaustion, we think that we're physically tired. You know, yeah. we just can't run another mile. Well, the, I would say the key component uh, to burnout is the emotional component. Mm. It's this feeling that, you, that you're never doing enough. There's too mm. much to get done. And you're never going to catch up. You're never going to round the corner. Mm -hmm. And what's the point of it anyway? There's a, a disassociation or a depersonalization that comes with burnout where you just don't feel connected anymore to living. Yeah. And by living, I mean the activities involved. You don't even have the energy perhaps to call a friend to talk mm -hmm. it's all too much. Mm -hmm. And what is your hypothesis about why this is such a growing condition right now? Well, I would say that there are layers to that as well. So uh, on kind of a massive macro scale, mm -hmm you're talking about um, folks not making a living wage. Mm -hmm. So we have the stressors of um, financial insecurity, food insecurity, housing insecurity. We have a pandemic going on. Uh, we're seeing that we're working harder for less return on investment. Mm -hmm. So those are sort of the macro forces at play. And then we're bombarded constantly with marketing imagery uh, that self-care is now a thing that we have to do perfectly. Yeah. You know, uh, if we just eat these foods and wear these, you know, sustainable cruelty-free clothes and we do all of these things, then, you know, we're going to feel better. Yeah. And taking care of ourselves on that level of green juice and yoga meditation, the 10,000 steps a day, that's also become a part-time job. Exactly. <laughs> all the stuff we're supposed to be doing just to get to baseline. Exactly. And what's so, okay. And then throw in the fact that so many of us are also working from home, parenting, there's been a, there's, there's been an increased blurring of lines Boundaries. between our work and home lives. Yeah, yeah. 
You can never escape the email. No, no. All right, let's end on a more positive note. So what are you hoping that this course, our course on deep rest, what are you hoping that it will offer the student? I'm hoping it will offer uh, folks a perspective on what's happening to mm -hmm. them physiologically mm -hmm. so that they understand that this isn't all in the head, mm -hmm. that there are physiologic processes at work and we're, we're, we get stuck in these feedback loops, but we have easy to access, actually naturally endowed skills and tools mm -hmm. to find resolution. Yeah. Because that's what, what I, for. yeah. And what I hear you teaching is also a kind of reclaiming of our birthright, which is to live in a state of, maybe you would call it parasympathetic imminence or kind of not feeling stressed <laughs> for stretches of time, like inhabiting a space of not being so relaxed that you're lying on the floor, but just that there's a sense of ease in the body. Yes, that you're in a state of you're alert, you're awake, you're, you're, act, you're, you're an actor, you know, mm -hmm. you are taking actions to support your life and you're able to do this without agitation. And yes, I, please. yes, please, <laughs> yes, please, Mary Richards. I mean, I really believe that the way we're, we affect change is one person at a time. Yeah. And that person is me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the yoga. That's the yoga way. All right, Mary Richards. Thank you so much. Tell us where we can find you online. You can find me at yogawithmaryrichards.com on Instagram, Facebook. Easy, All easy. the places. All right. I'm Lizzie.yoga, L I Z Z I E dot yoga. Jump on my Sunday Shavasana series there. And there's, mm, I think, almost weekly emails I'm sending out now about slowing down. All right, Mary, we will see you soon. Thank you. My Namaste. pleasure. Namaste.